Hey everybody, this is Kevin Gormley, CPA that does financial planning, and this is for educational use only. But a question, which has done better in the new millennium? Is it a 100% stock portfolio or is it a 60-40 portfolio with 60% equities, 40% bonds? I think you may be surprised. Now, the answer is always in financial planning and investing, it depends. So it depends on if you were a person who just invested this whole time period, or if you were someone that was an accumulator, putting more money in, putting more money in, putting more money in. Well, let me show you the answer. And again, I, I learned this uh, due to a uh, conference call um, or a presentation that I uh, was a part of. And the, um, the speaker, who's a, a best-selling author, said that a 60-40 portfolio has beaten a 100% stock portfolio if you just use the S&P 500 versus the S&P 500 in bond portfolio. And here is actually the data. This shows that the 60-40 portfolio here did 5.56% if you started on the first day of January of 2000 and invested all the way through versus the S&P 500. And the reasons for this that the person discussed is that when you have losses, it's a lot harder to get back to even the more money you lose. That is, if you lose 50% of your portfolio, you have to have 100% to get back to even. And so in, in time periods where markets are going up and down or very volatile, this, this person argued that actually having more bonds can actually produce better returns. So again, this is not to say you should do A or you should do B. This is just to say uh, sometimes things are not as simple as we believe them to be. Now, once again, if you are investing, doing dollar cost averaging every uh, year, every year, every month during this time period, your returns would have been a heck of a lot better being 100% in equities. But if you're just going through a time period in the future and you are not able to keep putting money in, you may want to consider bonds. So thanks so much for watching. Again, Kevin Gormley, a CPA that does financial planning. Thanks.